In this video, I'm going to be telling you 10 things that Animal Jam should add to Animal Jam. Animal Jam HQ should really add these things because they would be really easy to add and they would just make the game so much better and so much more popular. So first of all, Animal Jam needs to add a new underwater land. Basically, I'll tell you why in a second. I basically, you guys are, some of you are probably there. I know I wasn't there, but I have heard from some of my friends who were on Animal Jam at the time when Kimbara Outback was released a little while ago and it was insane it was so full of people but now it's completely empty so i know that even if animal jam hq releases a new underwater land that's not going to make the underwater much more popular at all in the long run the second thing that i think animal jam needs to add which would also make the game more popular is just two or three more pets for non-members i mean like you've they've just got the hamsters just also for non-members i think it's fair to give them more pets than one which you can buy store-bought and there are so many pets like Take a look at these. There are plenty of pets here. Let's give them cats, dogs. I'll be fair, right? They still can't get cooler pets like owls and monkeys and some of the awesome diamond pets that members can get. But for number three, just give non-members some of the forgotten dens. Let's see, the water park. It's like a small version of the lake house. Nobody wants to buy it. It's just a water park. But non-members would enjoy it, because guess what? They can't have the lake house. They just get this small house right here, which nobody likes. Giving them the water park would be great. Also, I think maybe, um... Yes. Kratos is a simple den. Members don't use it too much. And I think the non-members would enjoy it so much. Like, not, members don't even enjoy some of these dens. I mean, it's not exactly a privilege if nobody even likes them. I think it would be way better to just... Give them to the non-members, let the non-members enjoy them, and boom, the problem of Forgotten Dens is solved. Animal Jam needs rares. Are you asking why? I mean, Animal Jam already has rares. Like, if you go into your inventory, there's already rares. I mean, like, look, I have a rare. Look, Animal Jam already added rares. There's rares. No, no, they really aren't. Rares are released every Monday. Rares are really not rare anymore. I mean, they're everywhere. If you traded 10 rares, you still couldn't get a black long. And this poses a huge problem because rares aren't good items anymore. I mean, even if you traded all your best rares, a ton of them, you still couldn't get some of the best items in the game, like a black long, which sort of causes a problem with, you know, like, the, the way that items are matched with each other because now no matter how many of those items you get i mean i think we need more items for example we could have some really cool items that were called like i don't know epics or super rares i don't know that's just an idea but we need some items that cost a ton of gems and i mean like some of them may cost ten thousand gems but almost everybody can afford that i mean right now i happen to have thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighty nine without even going on a gem collecting spree just from playing games randomly and you get a lot of gems over time, so I think something more like 50,000 would be reasonable for some of the smaller items. Something like 100,000 for some of the bigger items. And maybe there could even be some super epic, super, super rare rares for like a million to five million gems that would take, I don't know, a year to save for, or a little over a year. And those, if you traded a full inventory of those, those might be worth a black long, because those take like a year to save up for. And those... That means that gems are actually worth something. I mean, no matter how many gem bot items, rares you buy, they you, you don't go up in value at all. I mean, no matter how many gems you get, you don't go up in value. No matter how many claws you get, you're not going to get a black long from them. And so we need some, I mean, like, 100 diamond items, million gem items that people will have to save for for a long time. More than 100 diamonds, like. 300 diamonds. Like, really expensive. I mean, really expensive. Because otherwise, no matter how many of them you buy, you're still not going to be able to get any of the valuable items, and that just causes a huge problem. Lastly, parties-only games. Parties-only games would be awesome, because then, if you go to a party, there can be games that you can only play at that party, which would make parties more popular. I mean, parties need to be better. I mean, they're pretty boring. You go there to buy some items, and you leave. But if there's games to play there, people will go to parties a lot more. And I mean exclusive games. Don't just take the games that you can already get to from the games tab and plop them into some of the parties. That doesn't change anything. And even if this isn't going to quite be, um, 10, since, um, I'm starting to run low on time in this video, I'm just going to say one more thing. And this thing is so important. All you guys need to do is add make your own adventures. I know I say all you guys need to do, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna take months, I know, but it would be so good, and I have so many cool ideas for it, and I could spend an hour saying literally everything I've come up for for how it would work and how it would be possible, and 
But, like, that would take too long, and there are a lot of jammers who are watching this, and AJHQ's not watching this, so there's no point blabbering on about the mechanics of how this would work forever. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!